Well, he's, he's a chicken. He's perch traps. We probably can't see him because he's in the middle of a bunch of brush there. It's, in, it's like he hit the jackpot. There are about two dozen perch in his traps. Or his perch trap. So, anyway, moving it did the trick. Yeah. Well, he's at the end of it. There's only that one little bitty one on there. So, same hole, same line, same location. We caught them big blues a few months ago. I think it was in December we was here. So, anyway, you never know. That's why they call it fishing. Yeah, feeding the potato <laughs> dinner. Thin, so they cook a lot quicker. See how that hollow right there slices that onion? Mm. Like butter. I'm gonna see that on there. Spatula. It's cooking away. All right, now for the taste test. That is good. Chicken a little crusty on the outside, but that's all right. It's good. I think it goes that ribeye, but it's good. And the fight the flies, too. One thing I despise on campus flies. It's edible and filling. Not as good as a ribeye, but it'll do. Catch you guys again later. <sighs> Daddy's gonna go run his lines again. So I'll video that here in a moment. Been sitting here playing with these three knives. We have no mistake. Okay, you saw me use this one today in camp chores and things like that. Okay, works great. Nothing wrong with it. This one you see me do R&D for months with this knife. There's just not much else I can say about this one. It's a phenomenal knife. Okay. 
this one here <laughs> this is the one I had the most fun with um, this little NK man I tell you what it's light it feels comfortable in the hands it just it's very maneuverable excuse me I, I think I can't wait to skin some game with this. I, I think it's going to be a phenomenal little game scanner. I already know it's a carver. It is a carving knife and a half. With those little points there, like I talked about on the, the survival knife. Man, what a carving. And it's, the blade is so thin. See how thin that is. I mean, that's just like a scalpel. If you like small knives, this is the knife. I, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> this, this is just so much fun to use. Somebody had said, you know, it's almost small enough to put in your pocket. It actually is. I mean, it's only about seven and a half. You just stick it in your pocket. Let's see. Of course, I got these uh, cargo pants, so it's a little deeper pocket. But let's see. There. Pocket knife. Jean pockets you may have a little problem with it. But hey, if that's what you want to wear your knife or how you want to carry it, get you some Wrangler rigs. Workwear. Great pants. Love them. Well, I'll tell you what. This right here. I think I think it's a must-have. I, I think I think this is a must-have knife. I really do. I this is just unbelievable the way it it has so much control with that full flat. See how it's just taking those little curls off, little paper thin curls. See there. I mean, you can almost see through them. I need to get down there where he's at, you know, just on his lines, but and his blade is wide enough. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself on your thumb or choking up on it. And that tip, man, that tip right there, a tanto tip, what a carving tip. Get in there and just hog some wood off. Like I say, I think that, the, I mean, I did breakfast this morning with it, did some camp chores with it, and it just, I... It did, it did great. Um, it sliced through that just like nobody's business, what you would expect from a thin blade and I. And you saw me in the introduction. It'll take care of some of the little heavier chores of firecraft and things like that. With that full eighth inch here and that little saber. So it's it's a, a multi-use little small knife. I think it's I think it's um, it's being overlooked a little bit, and and I, I think that you guys are missing out on a, on a fantastic knife here. But so much control, so much control. All right, let me go uh, set the camera up and see if he's caught a fish. All right, here we go. No fish. No fish, you don't think. This is your first bait. There's just two baits missing right here. Alright, well there ain't no fish. I'm gonna cut the camera off. Okay, we'll probably be leaving out tomorrow. I, I don't know, probably noon sometime. But anyway, uh thoughts on this knife. And again, this is just preliminary thoughts. I mean, I, I really haven't 
tested this knife thoroughly yet. I do know with a hollow grind it's going to do very well with kitchen prep and meat slicing and things like that. It's the other things that, that kind of concern me. And if you choke back up on here when you're doing your wood processing, your, your carving, your feather sticks, things like that, it, it does the job, okay? Um, but I'm not looking for does the job. <laughs> and, and the hollow up here, it does the job. But I'm not looking for it does the job. I'm looking for something that feels right, that performs very well. This knife is good. It doesn't perform very well, or real well, okay, if you know what I mean. Um, I like the design of it. The design looks pretty cool. But again, I'm not, I'm not for eye appeal. I won't function. And when you start comparing the two, this knife outperforms this knife in every way. In every way. Um, even slicing the onions. Uh, you know, you saw how this knife went through without breaking the onion. This knife will do the same thing, even though it's a, it's a very heavy blade. It's just the geometry of this knife works. Um, this knife, it works too, but this knife will do so much more. You see what I'm saying? So I think I think if you're not if you want this knife is a lot lighter. <laughs> That's one thing I was going for. It's a lot lighter knife. This one's a good 14 ounces. This one probably maybe 10, maybe. Um, I haven't weighed it, but uh, it's a little bit shorter blade too. I think by maybe half inch shorter. But if if I was gonna if I had these two knives and I was going into the woods, I would take this one every time. That's just me, okay? Um, because I can do so much more with that knife. This knife is a it's almost um, limited to a, to a camp knife. Um, yes, it'll do your your fire prep, your wood processing, the, your your game prep, things like that. But it's about all it'll do. Um, it just it, it just doesn't excel at a whole lot, whereas this one this one does. This one excels in everything I put it through. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is the the design. I'm not sure, but um, so far I haven't found anything to touch it. Now the Master Woodsman, the Master Woodsman is dear to my heart. Um, matter of fact, it, it is. If I'm going deer hunting, that's the knife I'm gonna have with me. If I'm going deer hunting. If I'm going uh, in the on a camping trip and and in the backwoods somewhere, this is the knife I'll have with me. If there's if there is a a chance that I might have to have an, an unexpected extended stay, this is the knife that I'm taking with me. Okay. Now, if I'm going to a deer camp and um, basically a base camp, the Master Woodsman's the knife. Um, uh, that uh, with that butcher's tip, the model two with that butcher's tip. That's my favorite design uh, as far as uh, game processing, butchering animals, and, and things like that. Uh, this this knife here, I, I showed a little pieces of it filleting a fish when um, during the introduction of it. So that that tanto tip right there, that little belly, would make a good um, butchering style tip. And given the chance this this uh, fall, if if I take a buck, I'll I'll definitely uh, give this knife a thorough test. But uh, just filleting a fish. If this knife will fillet a fish, you know it'll skin a buck. Okay. Um, so uh, there's no doubt in my mind that this one be a butchering machine. Um, Dave Lutz uh, skin out a couple of coons with one, so um, he he swears by it. But this one here, <clears throat> great knife, or good knife, not a great knife, okay? And it'll probably be put up on, uh, on for sale on my website at some point. Um, I keep going back to these designs, these designs here, um, and my Master Woodsman. 
uh, I compare everything to these these three and so far <laughs> you've got your neck knife your little companion knife you've got your survival knife your robust do it all and you've got your master woodsman for your hunting what else could you need um, it's even a fillet of fish you <laughs> see so you got a fillet knife Master Wisdom will too. Uh, Dan Lutz laid a fish with his. But hey, you know, it just takes practice. All right, that's my my thoughts. I, th this little knife here has just really surprised me. I, I knew when I went from A to, to B in the um, the prototypes, I knew this knife was, was going to be very nice because I used it about a week. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, this, this knife has potential. I can usually tell by using it just a little while whether the knife is gonna gonna be special or not. And this one is special. But here on camp, you can just see how special it is. I mean, it, it, it is just so much control. And with those points, I mean, you can just, I mean, just see how that point gets in there and that B just slices. It's just slice it. It's just hardly any effort at all. But when you try to do a flat, see the flat, it just it just don't want to do it. But that V, it assists you. It goes in as as and actually cuts those fibers from the center to the sides, just like so. Just all over there. And that's that's a half inch piece of stick right there. And you got those curves here that gets in there and you just do that, that fine carving. Hear that ring? Good temper. You can really hear it on the thin blades. It's hard to hear it on the on the bigger blades. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I, I like this knife, but I love the others. Okay. Hey, this may fit your lifestyle better. I'm not sure. It's an option. All right. Catch you again soon. Good morning. Get down to the lake. We are packing up to get out of here today. Actually, this morning, I already halfway packed. Dad's going to run his line and pick up his line, and uh, don't worry about get the camera ready just in case he got a whale on there. So, uh, hang with me a second. Well, no fish. I guess we wore out our welcome, might as well go home. Well, I might as well sign off right here. Um, glad you guys could join us on this little trip. A uh, little two night, two and a half day thing. <laughs> If you want to call it half a day. Um, anyway, it was good to get out and camp a little bit and try to recharge the batteries. And, but it's time to head back to the house now and back to work. So, 
Anyway, you guys try this sometimes. If you can't do that, just get in the backyard, whittle on a stick. Take a child with you, get the opportunity. And uh, be sure and don't forget those plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.